It's that time again. The year is almost over and I want to talk about everything that made 2018 a positive experience for me. Because overall, my year was sh <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, you ready? Let's get it. 15 or 6, like, it, that's, it's a... Being able to export a video file as an image sequence is a pretty basic feature that is in probably every major video editing software. Probably. Even though Adobe's is still a big giant heap of crap. <laughs> This little music video I put together is only a small sample of people I watch on YouTube and Twitch. But the first two are special. While they do totally different things, they both have something in common. They both have the work ethic I lack. And I look up to that. I'm not saying the others on my list, the last people on my list, or maybe even you if you are one, don't have that. I guess you could say I'm pretty biased. <laughs> Yo, do I get to kick him in the shins? Come back, bitch. Mmm. Scoops. Oh. <laughs> this is top 80 though quality? I adore animation. <laughs> and fighting games are just great. I also enjoy both streams way too much. When Kentu starts streaming his labbing, I would drop everything I was doing just to do the same. When my boy Fred would start streaming himself animating, I would open up Word to start writing a script for a video. I had to stop watching both of them because it would always end up me getting comfy watching them. They have an entertaining, informative, and oddly cozy stream. Especially when Fred gets drunk, he could be a riot. Mm, Southern Blender comfort. Does oh man, Blender actually does she is though. smoking hot. I wouldn't mind if she comforted my Southern. <laughs> Anime is another thing I like to indulge myself in. This year started off great, but then fell off for me. From what I watched this year, I could say with confidence my favorites were A Place Further Than the Universe and Comic Girls. The former inspired me to do something extraordinary with my life. Not freezing to death in Antarctica, but making videos on YouTube. I bought a camera because of this, okay? And all was done while having an S-tier smile. The latter showed me it was okay to fail over and over again. I will find some sort of success some point. Everything else I watched was just for entertainment or background noise. I wasn't sure what I wanted for lunch, but when 1 p.m. struck, I could only think about one thing. They pump them when you cook them. It's a shame this wasn't the anime because the real one sucked. <laughs> Video games. I've played a ton of games this year, mostly on the action side of things, specifically People fighting. Do, the, do it three times in a row. Thing. <laughs> While fun, deep down, I'm actually kind of a party type myself. With games, if I have a strong opinion on something, I'd probably make a video on it. I say probably because I have three different scripts I wrote and did nothing with them. Will I ever get back to them? I have no idea. But I can at least say I enjoyed everything except this one. 
sucked. So what's going on with me? I think I got my message across when I said I had videos written but never finished. I didn't really feel motivated to finish them because I was sick of game reviews, even though my most seen video was the Urban Terror one. I only finished it because of the live action bit. It was just more interesting to edit. Bro, go to fucking Target for a mic, not f defeat. Nothing's wrong with game reviews. Those videos were created because I wanted more people to play the lesser known games that I found in the past. Sonic Forces not included. While making a simple format and giving it a similar name to Should You Watch from Demolition D, then doing that 12 times, it got stale and I just wanted to change the pace. The CEO experience was my favorite one so far because I never thought I'd do something like that. You know, going outside, let alone vlogging it. Just saying. And editing that video while listening to City Pop was pretty fun too. It was fulfilling to complete, and that goes for the others so far too. 2018, I asked you not to suck. Now, 2018, <clears throat> do me a favor, don't suck. But there you go, sucking a fat one. But at least the last 10% was wonderful. Mostly because of Ultimate, but you know, at least it happened, right? I gotta say, I know it's just a number, but this year I was able to hit 100 subs. Even Subway congratulated me. <laughs> and to all of you that did sub, thanks. And also, shoutouts to the Urban Terror community. I never really thought any video of mine would be getting views to this day. You're all really cool people. A lot of interesting comments too. So here's to you, to all of you watching my videos. Thanks for making the 10% of my 2018 great. I'm feeling good about 2019, and I hope all you are too. That's all I got for this video. See you in the next one.